For a robot to function properly, it needs to be able to quickly plan its movements through the environment around it. A good motion plan is an efficient path through the environment that avoids collisions with people, other robots, or obstacles within the environment. There are many different algorithms that perform motion planning. In this video, we will compare some of the most popular motion planning algorithms and describe some of the pros and cons of using each one. To describe these algorithms, we will use a 2D space with obstacles denoted by red circles and a start and goal node. The goal of this problem is to find a path from the start node to the goal node that does not intersect any of the obstacles. The RRT algorithm starts by choosing a random point within the environment. We then create a line between that new point and the start node, and place a new point at a distance of delta from the start node along that line, as long as it does not result in any collisions with the obstacles. On each iteration of the algorithm, we follow the same process to add new points and expand our tree. Each time we add a new point, an edge is created to the nearest node within our tree. The tree continues to expand into the environment following this pattern. Occasionally, instead of choosing a random point within the graph, we choose the goal node itself in order to increase the chances of finding it. Once the tree reaches the goal node, we can return the path from the start node to the goal node. RRT March is a variation of RRT in which each time a new sample point is taken, the tree attempts to expand all the way to this new point. It does this by adding nodes to the tree along a straight line path between the sample point and its nearest neighbor in the tree. It does this until it reaches the new sample point or there is a collision along the path. RRT March can increase the search efficiency by expanding further into the search space each iteration. RRT star works very similarly to RRT, but it has a few key modifications. When a point is added, the nearest neighbor is located. Then, within a certain radius, neighboring points are checked. If a neighboring point results in a shorter path to the start node, that point is used as this node's parent. This results in many fan-like structures throughout the tree. Another modification within RRT star is the rewiring of the tree. After successfully adding a new point, neighbors are once again checked. If a neighbor's cost to the start node can be decreased by rerouting it through a new node, then it is. RRT star takes longer to run than RRT, but finds much more efficient paths. Another sampling-based approach to motion planning are probabilistic roadmaps, or PRMs. PRMs are constructed by sampling points in the search space. Once these points have been sampled, points are connected to the nearest k neighbors to create a graph structure. This graph structure can then be queried for paths between any two points in the graph. One benefit of PRMs is that once a graph is constructed, it can be queried repeatedly for paths without having to construct a new graph. <coughs> Let's take a look at these algorithms in action, starting with RRT. What you see here is a randomly generated environment of obstacles shown in blue. The gray lines illustrate the tree constructed by the RRT algorithm, and the red portion is the trajectory RRT found from the starting point at the origin to the goal in the opposite corner. The tree here is very jagged as a result of the randomized nature of the sampling process. RRT was clearly able to find a path to the goal, but it's not the most efficient solution to the problem. If we now run the RRT March version of the algorithm in the exact same environment, the result is quite different. The tree itself is far less dense, and the long straight portions within it are a result of the algorithm's marching behavior. Once again, a path from the starting point to the goal is found, but isn't necessarily the most efficient solution. Now let's run the same scenario using RRT star. The graph here has changed dramatically. Most noticeably, the resulting tree has a fan-like structure characteristic of the RRT star algorithm. As before, a trajectory has been found, only this time it's a noticeably straighter and far more efficient path to the goal. Lastly, let's see an example of PRM. The tree shown here is more complex than the ones before, as the nature of the PRM algorithm results in many closed loops between nodes in the tree. 
The solution shown in red is actually the shortest possible path from start to goal for this specific tree, but may not ultimately be the most optimal path for the problem.